So then, how did you make it from Quincy? I never understood the transition to the Basie band. How did you? Oh, when we came back from Europe. Uh, let me see. Let me go. Well, it was, uh, let's see. Oh, it was Cal Jader and Chico Hamilton. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, oh, Basie just needed a bass player, and he, he had already seen me play with Quincy's band. No, oh, yeah. So I just went by and tightened it up a little bit. And what was Bill, Mr. Basie, like? Absolutely magnificent. And we got so tight immediately. I mean, he just. I know exactly. Well, not not that I'm, it was anything miraculous. But everybody that that's been in there would do the same thing. You begin to learn his intros and endings, and you, you know, mm -hmm. you know where to come in. And there's no stomp off. It's really? Just, no. He just bing, 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 do 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 do, you know. Mm -hmm. It was, and each tune had its own intro and ending, so you didn't have to, you didn't have to school, scoot around trying to find out where you are. Yeah. Wow. Never did, after about a week, I never pulled the music out. Marshall Royal never took the music out. It became innate, what yeah. you guys are doing. Marshall was fantastic. Yeah. It was, I'm sure you heard that, but being around him, he knew that I was a saxophone player too. And so he used to play like little uh, Rudy Weedoff things <laughs> and look around at me and break up. <laughs> 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 